hello, welcome to In Production. So, uh, I think the summer is finally here. It's 20 degrees Celsius, May 20th, right now 2 o'clock. It's really sunny, so, and it's going to be sunny for the rest of the week, and it will be warmer uh, since today, I guess. I'm more energetic. I love summer. I mean, I do love summer, but um, it gets sweaty and stinky. You know, it's summer, right? Especially my room gets quite smelly because uh, my kitchen is right underneath it. So all the smell from food, especially these days, because uh, we cook home all the time during this time around as a quarantine. So yeah, it gets smelly. And my favorite, like there's a lot of way of uh, getting rid of those smell, but my favorite method is this burning incense. So one by one, one by two, and I need to clean that up. One second. So yeah, uh, incense. So these are incense called from Incense Ancestral. Uh, so I bought two different flavor, Dragon Blood, Sandal, that's French, English. Anyway, so I already burned this one. This one was nice, but, but today I'm gonna try out this one. Let's go. So back in my studio, this place is kind of stinky. It starts to stink a lot because I have all the electronics, uh, all my camera equipment, and I have these um, sponges. It's, it's chemical, so it smells like chemical, like rubbery smell. Um, computer is running, has a computer. You know that distinctive computer electronic smell coming from there? So there's a lot of weird smell coming out of here. I can't really get rid of it. I've been trying. I tried baking powder, open the window and so on. So hopefully this will solve, solve my uh, problem here. So to use the incense, you need incense tray. This is one I have. They have different size, different shape. This is just a, one of the example. Um, but they commonly all have this little hole right here but I can plug the incense here but first let me read what they have to say over here all right so this is sort of manual example explanation so sandalwood incense of the highest quality with the base of the purest essential oil it smells is very agreeable and creates an atmosphere of purity and freshness which lasts long after the incense stick has burned which is true, I can confirm it. I burned mine, one of the, uh, what's called, Dragon Blood. It still smells like uh, when I burned it, like it lasts two days, three days almost. Um, it's magical side if acts as a protection and increases one's chance of healing. So this is a healing incense. Increases willpower and spirituality, acts on one's in inner self, uh, cleans the atmosphere of negative influences, increases receptivity, and inspires devotion. Facilitates the um, half the stuff are kind of doesn't really make sense. All right, so t simply put it, this is high quality incense. I'm assuming. Um, my first impression is though I used incense before this many times because one of my friend is a Mexican. Uh, he enjoys incense he gave me a couple to try it out after that i really love one of these to getting rid of the house smell this is the best way to do first impression is that this um, particular brand is very moist looks very moist uh, compared to other side so tried out and then most of them are very dry um, rough texture but this one is very clean but it's very soft, it's already coming out by just touching it. The uh, smell is very good, uh, it smells very intense. This one smells almost like a perfume, you know, sandal perfume. 
it's all, uh, there's a, like a sweetness smell and also it smells like a car freshener. That's before burning smell. Let's burn it. Maybe I should open the window. So it's, it smells a little different when you burn it. So before it smells more like a perfume before you start burning it. This one, after burning it, uh, adds that smoky uh, smell to it. It doesn't really smell like perfume anymore. It smells more like uh, like um, campfire, burning wood, sandalwood, I guess. That's appropriate uh, name for it. It smells, yeah, it definitely smells like wood. And for this guy, the dragon, dragon blood uh, this smells like uh, perfume like a male perfume like a summer male perfume like that watery smell and has like a fruity uh, that refreshener smell kind of thing it's a very sweet smell and when you burn this one it smell exactly like uh, male perfume this one might some people might not like it uh, I think this uh, particular line, the ancestral incense from Jabo, Jabo, that's Canadian company. I think this line is specifically made for the male users, which I like the smell. On description, this one has a different description. Let me read for you. It's magic works as a protective agent and increases properties of the other plants, increases psych forces, like a psychic forces. It uses the widespread in ritual of love as protection against bad sexual influences. I don't know what bad sexual influences would be. And in intrusions into one's intimacy. It is said to increase sexual appetite. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true. If it's increases sexual appetite and protect me from bad sexual, uh, what, what they say? bad sexual influences, <laughs> negative sexual influences. That's funny. Um, but yeah, I, I like this smell, but this one smells more like a perfume. Uh, definitely has that sex sex appeal smell to it, I guess. Uh, but this one is small, smell more natural, smells like wood, the real wood, uh, sandalwood. Anyways, that's been it today. Uh, today's a little short, I guess, but if you have a problem, like you're sweaty, a stinky, funky smell, from your room because you're sweating or uh, because it's summer it's hot and the weather goes humid and it's gonna start smell that funky smell like fungus smell oh i hate those whenever you finish your shower and you forgot to dry your towel and then next morning you're trying to use it for washing your face and you smell that uh, funky smell anyways if you have a problem like that try this this is awesome um you might not like it at first, you get used to it, you, you love it, you want to burn every single day. Uh, try not to, because I'm gonna suffocate in this perfumey smell. Um, and so that's been it. I hope to see you next one. See you later, bye.